everybody video here for you today we're going to go down and look at a place in turkey that goes way back in history found this place about a week ago i found it very fascinating it's not a huge site it's an ancient mound but it goes back about six seven thousand years in history this is chatter hoyuk right down here it's not a very large site but it's kind of conical it's an ancient mound can't really get a good view of it on google earth here but this just must be a treasure trove for archaeologists because you have one culture stacked on top of the remains of another culture on top of another culture and that goes back about six seven thousand years in history now obviously the ancient mound is the most noticeable thing at Chatterhoyuk, but there are other ruins probably under the farmer's field i believe they did some excavation work right down here found villages stuff like that but let's talk about this mound here look at a few pics this is a pretty cool site here here's a look at Chatterhoyuk. many periods of history in this mound with the reservoir there in the far distance it kind of looks like it's right on the shore but that water is pretty far away in the background here's a pdf i found we will come back to this but here is an overhead shot i believe this is taken from a drone good look at Chatterhoyuk right there now here's an excellent website that goes over the site chronology it says the following table provides a chronological outline of the site settlement as revealed in archaeological efforts undertaken at Chatterhoyuk between 1993 in 2008 and these are in ascending order so people lived here up until about a thousand years ago but then below that period from a thousand years ago there's a byzantine period there's an early byzantine period there's a roman period a hellenistic period a late iron age period a middle iron age period a late bronze period middle bronze period early bronze period chalcolithic period just different layers of human civilizations living in this one little spot here i think this is very cool and then it goes all the way down to 5500 bc and they just have not excavated the lower parts of this mound so really what is found below the early chalcolithic period is really unknown but they got down to about 7300 years ago in this mound and people lived here up until about a thousand years ago so that's over six thousand years of history at this one site here i just thought this website was excellent it goes over the dates here and what exactly was found at these different levels you notice they cut a trench down the side here on that little pick but it says these phases are numbered in ascending order on the assumption that we have exposed all major phases that we will find with the possible exception of the neolithic and that would be down at the very bottom of the mound what is down there well that's a good question here is one website i will leave below the excavations of chatter hoyuk done in 2005 goes over the archaeological team and what they did here specifically it says the large staff and the workers allowed us to expand the excavation and the work in five separate areas of the site since as a result of previous excavation seasons we have become very interested in the hittite remains in this part of anatolia much of our effort was expanded working in places that we thought might give us the best results excavation is a long process and sometimes requires several seasons of work to achieve even small objectives but this year was especially rewarding it says is chatter hoyuk the hittite zipalanda well that is a good question some people associate that ancient name to these remains here in this area of the world here's some more looks at the excavation work but can you imagine just one place here and you can study the hittites the byzantine period the roman period hellenistic period all sorts of periods of history i think this is very cool here's an overhead shot at just one area that they opened up ruins just stacked on top of ruins this is very cool must be great to work here here are some other things they found archaeological work pretty cool in this area it says the ringed interior rooms on the western side of the mound and the plastered gateway here is another drone shot looking down on the ruins at the top of the mound this was taken by the 2017 2018 team that was here and here they are in front of the mound here's a few looks at the archaeological work here the excavations that were done the trenches that were built what was found underneath i just think this is very fascinating pottery other artifacts were found coming from different periods of history 
small finds, big finds, walls, fill, Hittites, Byzantines, Romans. This site really has it all. Here is the South Trench. Here are some second millennium objects that were found in the mound. Very interesting here. Here is what they determined to be Iron Age architecture at the north slope of the mound. And here is some pottery, some more stonework coming from the Iron Age. There is another look at Chatter Hoyuk. Some people come here to research specific layers of history. The Byzantine period was found. Here is one artifact from that Byzantine layer. The cross there, the figure there, wrapped in the linen. Here is a topographical map of Chatter Hoyuk, just built up in a conical way over thousands of years of history. These squares indicate where excavation work was done, but I believe this is over 30 meters high, over 100 feet high. But that lowest layer, let's just read about that. Here are some pottery fragments coming from that layer. It says, evidence of the first known settlement at Chatter Hoyuk, found at the bottom of a deep sounding on the south slope, has been radiocarbon dated to the early Chalcolithic period, about 5300 to 4500 BC. So over 7,000 years ago. But it says, though a Neolithic foundation may well lie underneath. So they are open to the possibility that there are even earlier foundations on this ancient mound. They just haven't gotten down that far. This website talks about many different periods of history here. There is an Assyrian period before the Hittite period, which begins about 1400 BC. It says here, these are Hittite libation bowls. But it says a monumental gate built in the time of the Hittite Empire supports that Chatter was a core city in the Hittite homeland. Mammoth rocks, many of which have been rolled down the hillside or have been recycled, once formed a gateway five meters wide facing north towards the Hittite capital, 70 kilometers away. Just reading here a little more, it says to date our excavations have revealed little about what happened at Chatter Hoyuk immediately after the Hittite Empire's collapse around 3,200 years ago, and I read one website where they found one area where it appears something pretty catastrophic happened here. But it says the mound with its commanding view of the surrounding countryside appears to have been strictly used as a citadel, featuring no construction along its slopes. And just concluding down here, it says the town of Chatterhoyuk lay abandoned. Years turned into decades and the buildings fell into disrepair. Decades then turned into centuries, and the ruins were gradually sealed under a thin layer of dirt and vegetation, which brings us to the mound in its present state today, a preserved capsule of some 6,000 years of history, just waiting to reveal its secrets. That is a video on Chatter Hoyuk here in Turkey, 6,000 years of history, preserved in one mound. Many different cultures lived here. That was just a good one to add to my channel today. That's probably two or three dozen videos on ancient mounds in Turkey that go way back in history. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day.